What do all these images have in common? They were all created with this one tool. Welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. All right, so a couple of days ago, I made a video on how to create long shadows. And one of the comments I received on that was from a YouTube user, and I'll put his handle down here at the bottom, uh, was why didn't I use the move duplicate feature inside of Affinity Photo? And to be quite honest with you, I wasn't even aware that it was there. So I figured it out and played around with it for a little while, and it is an amazingly powerful tool. So let's look and see how we can use it to create a couple of different styles of designs. Create a new document and we'll just do a square one for this. So we've got 1080 by 1080. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring in some guidelines, snap those into the center. And uh, let's recreate the, uh, the Stars and Stripes graphic that I made in the intro there. So we'll come over here to our Shapes tool and we'll grab a star. And up here near the top of the image, we'll go ahead and drag out a star. And we'll make the fill on that blue. And then we will go ahead and make sure that it's centered horizontally there. So now what we want to do for this, we want to create a circular pattern of these. And normally you would hit Command J, rotate it however many degrees, and then power duplicate it around until you get to where you want. And you'd have to figure out the degrees that you wanted depending on how many copies. Well, with this, it's completely interactive. So let's go ahead and do what we would normally do. Let's move the origin and move it down and snap it into the center of our document. And now all we have to do with that layer selected is hit Enter and it brings up this dialog box, move duplicate. So we wanna make this like a clock face. So we're gonna duplicate this, hit duplicate. We're gonna create 11 copies of it. Make sure that they're below the original layer. And then we're gonna take rotation. And since it's rotating around the center point of the document, we're just gonna bring it around and drag until we get it. And we can eyeball this to where we know it's at 30 degrees. And that's as easy as it gets. And once you hit okay, you have all these other copies. So let's go ahead and select all of those and group them. We'll just leave those right there. So now we need to create our stripes. So let's uh, come back down to the shape tool. Let's grab the rectangle tool and we're just gonna drag out a quick rectangle here kind of the size that we want. We will center it up. Yeah, let's change the color first to red. And now we can just Command J that, bring it down snap it right in place and let's change the color of that one to white i know it's hard to see there because of the background but let's go ahead and group these two together and then we'll go ahead and rasterize and trim those and we're going to move them up here again so they're centered and now doing the same thing with this layer let's bring it all the way up here right underneath that star now we're going to hit enter and again it brings up our dialog box and this time we need to bring it down so we're not going to go circular with this. We're just going to go with vertical distance. So let's make duplicates. And let's, for right now, let's just make one copy. And we're going to move the vertical down. So that's what we want right there. And all we need to do is increase the number of copies until we get to where we want to be. And I'm going to go a little step further there because we're going to crop this now. So we like the way that looks. We hit OK. And now what we can do is we can group all of those layers together. And we'll bring that group down below our other group so we can see the stars. Again, rasterize and trim that. And we'll just move it up just a little bit. And then to cut it out, all we need to do at this point is grab our circular marquee tool, come into the center of our document there, and hold Command and Shift, drag it out to where it is just inside our stars there. We will select the invert pixel selection and just hit delete and then deselect and as easy as that we can uh, create this pretty pretty simple all right let's try something different because you can also do offsets with this create another document same thing square for now uh, we'll zoom out let's make that circular ball array so again i'm going to bring in just some guides for right now it's always easier to work with guides and come to our shape tool just grab an ellipse for this Going to come up to the top here and we will drag out a little bit of an ellipse. Let's go to the fill on that and let's make it a gradient. Put this color, let's make it like a green. And we'll grab this side here, make it a black, and we'll make it a radial gradient. Let's grab the gradient tool here real quick so we can make it look a little bit more like a, a ball. Here we go. Okay, so now that we have our object selected, let's change our origin point, bring it down. To here and now we'll hit enter 
and we bring the same dialog box up. So we're going to make a bunch of duplicates of this. Let's make 40. And then what we'll do is we'll start rotating. And you can see it's doing the same thing. It's rotating around the center, but we want it to like get smaller and smaller. So if we bring the scale down, and now if we want to move it in a different direction, we can. And again, it's all interactive. So it's a very, very powerful tool. And you can see it creates, again, all these different layers. And then once you have them, you can group them all together, but it makes them immediately. So very quick on the system. And then once we're here, if we want, we can group those, we can rasterize and trim them, and then we can also add in layer effects to this. Let's say we wanted to add in. So that's another way to use it. Another way to use it is just rotate around itself. So we'll do one more. Let's grab new document, same thing. Let's make like something like a compass. So we'll come up here and we'll grab the, the diamond tool and we'll come up here, grab a diamond, actually make it pretty big. Center it on the document. Let's fill it just with a plain old color for right now. We'll go with, go with red. We'll give it a little bit of a stroke. All right, so we're centered on the document. We hit enter. We can go duplicate. Let's make five duplicates of this and we'll make sure they're underneath the original there. We'll rotate, click OK, group those, and now we've got compass shape. So I hope this was news to you as well. Uh, if it is and you got some value out of this, please hit the like button or think about subscribing to my channel uh, to see more tutorials like this one. And until next time, peace. Talk to you later. Bye.